Hello and welcome back to another episode of Home and Away. Today is a very, very special one for me at my beloved club, Partick Thistle, to take in Thistle v Morton. I am going to show you my match day experience with me and my wee granda. Doesn't get better than that, does it? So I'm going to go and get some tea. I was just taking out money there. Uh, and I'm going to be going in depth about the current situation at the club. Let's go and get something to eat and we'll get a bit more into it once we've got food in our bellies. <laughs> Right, we've just had our food. I'm going to introduce you to Granda. Oh. There's Granda there. Uh, so, feels good. We've got the thistle colours on and I'm doing a video. It is good. What a feeling. So, we're going to go to the pub right now and we're going to do a wee couple of interviews on the current situation at the club. It's not looking good as a thistle fan. Um, we'll go more in depth uh, as we get into the pub. Right, you're watching. I'm stopping you for two seconds because I'm going to ask you a massive, massive favour. So, I have been voted into the final eight for the UK Best Young Content Creator. I'm going to the finals in Manchester in less than a month, but voting for the final eight is still open and ends this Sunday. All you need to do is click the link in the bio, it will take you there and it will take you two seconds. Click the drop box, click Blair McNally, go down to the bottom, click vote now. That's you. Done. Dusted. And it will be massive for me. I need every single vote I can get. We've got one week left. Please help me out. A proper football pub. <laughs> Raining about 10 seconds ago, then look at it now. Jesus Glasgow, doesn't know how to make its mind up. Right, I'm going to go and get a couple of interviews of uh, some very important figures in the current situation at Thistle, but before then, I'm going to give you a bit of context. So in 2019, Thistle fans were struck with a major grievance. Colin Weir, the lottery winner, who had the majority of shares of Partick Thistle, he actually revived the club, uh, to say the least. He passed away, so in that was left a big hole in the club. Um, majority of shares were left uh, unknown where they were going. In his will, he had asked that the fans were to take over. The club had become fan owned, and this looked all set in stone to happen. So in 2019, after the passing um, of Colin Weir, the, the working group, the PTFC working group, was set up. That then transitioned in 2020 into the Jags Foundation. From then, 900 members have been signed up to this. Thistle average about 3,000 per game. So if you're talking 900, that's one third of the Thistle support have signed up to this Jags Foundation. With massive, massive support from the Jags support, there is no other group that had the support of uh, the Thistle fans. It was all set in stone. The Jags Foundation were meant to take over and then out of nowhere, meetings were set up with the Jags Foundation, with the club. Meetings were cancelled. No explanation was given. And then there was a statement given out. Unfortunately, this statement read from the club. I'm not going to name any names in here, but from the club, the statement read that the Jags Foundation weren't an appropriate candidate to take over. This making no sense, as it was the only group that had been formed by the Thistle fans, just under a thousand, it was set in stone. Then a statement was given out that said that another group, the PTFC Trust, would be taken over as the fan ownership of the club. This didn't make sense. Why did it not make sense? The PTFC Trust hadn't been active for seven years 
No engagement with the fans, no nothing. This, it came out of nowhere. Jags fans at the moment are currently shocked, but the fan takeover is still going on at the moment. Jags fans, surrounded, we want our club back. So let's go and speak to a couple of individuals. Before I go and speak to some individuals of the Jags Foundation, I'd like to set straight. I have tried to get in contact with one said lady and to do with the club. I'm not going to name names as I've already said and I've tried to get in contact with the PTFC Trust who are supposed to be fan engaged, they're supposed to be representing the fans. I have had no response. Make of that what you will. I'm here with Ian McKinnon. Ian, you're the director, one of the directors of the Jags Foundation. Explain a little bit more for the people who don't know what is the Jags Foundation. So the Jags Foundation was formed with a specific intent of taking over the 55% shareholding in the club, which was generally which was generously uh, bought by Colin Weir in 2019. Um, we were negotiating, with, there was an initial board, which I wasn't part of, that were negotiating with the club to get these shares. Um, but then out of the blue, in March, April this year, um, three black cats and the club uh, suddenly broke off negotiations. At that point, the board of the Jags Foundation uh, resigned en masse, and that could have been the end of it. Um, but a group of us got together and decided that uh, we didn't want that to be the end of it. So we, uh, the, the outgoing board of the Jags Foundation generously, uh, generously agreed to facilitate an election, um, and uh, myself and nine other and eight other uh, individuals, fans, were uh, elected to be the new directors of the foundation. Um, we then uh, restarted negotiations with Three Black Cats um, in uh, May, June of this year. Mm -hmm. um, and then last month in August, um, it was announced that the PTFC Trust were going to be getting these shares instead of the Jags Foundation. The Jags Foundation are now the biggest part of digital supporters organisation in living memory. Um, there's been no other organisation over the years that have had as many members as we've got now. And as I said, we were, it was pretty much the club and Three Black Cats that set up the Jags Foundation. So to then be told that we are not suitable to be taking over the shares when we've got the backing of, as I said, 870 odd uh, fans, it, it just doesn't make any sort of sense at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and can you tell the people how can they sign up for the Jags Foundation? Because the Jags Foundation is still fully alive, it's still going. Yeah. And the main plan is to get our club back, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. So you can go to the jagsfoundation.co.uk and you can sign up. Um, we've got three we've, we've got three uh, options to sign up. Because we know there's a, a cost of living crisis which is affecting pretty much everyone just now, you know. So that's so you can sign up for £5, £10 a month. Um, but we've also introduced a £1 a month membership because we didn't feel... Uh, as a student, as a student, I've actually had to use that. Yeah. Because paying monthly into something... It's hard, as we all know, current cost of living crisis. So the fact that you've actually introduced a one pound a month scheme, you know, everybody can afford that. Yeah, and um, listen, we, we ten pound a month might sound might not sound a lot to uh, some people, but we know that with the cost of living crisis as it is just now, that um, ten pound a month uh, is is a lot for a lot of people. So we wanted to introduce the one pound a month membership, so that everyone who wanted to be a part of this could 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 be a part of this. We are not just negotiating. Or, uh, as nine people, we're negotiating as nearly nine hundred people, you know, and that's a huge, that's a huge, huge, huge uh, element of our fan base that have signed up to the Jags Foundation. If you compare that to the PTFC Trust, they don't even know who their beneficiaries are at the moment. The trust in general, it's not a suitable fan ownership vehicle because trusts don't have members; they have beneficiaries, mm -hmm. and beneficiaries of a trust don't have anywhere near the legal rights that uh, members do of a member's organisation. So if you look at the fan owned clubs in Scotland just now, you've got Hearts, Motherwell, St Mirren. Martin and St Mirren as well. Um, we also looked further afield uh, because we've done a lot of research. Is it true you were in um, talks with Motherwell just on how they've yeah, done it as yeah. well? Yeah, so, we, so you've obviously done your research. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, our, our recent EGM, we had representatives from, uh, from Hearts and St Mirren telling us about their fan ownership journey. Um, and you know, when you speak to other people who are uh, not Thistle fans, they actually can't believe what's going on just now. And the fact that uh, the trust have been able to bring in five five new benefic uh, five five new trustees 
who are completely unelected. I mean, if we wanted to do that, um, we'd need to have an EGM. Uh, we need to have a we would need to have a members vote. Yep. All nine members of the Jags Foundation board were elected by the members, and that's just not the case for the PTFC Trust. Ian, thank you very much. Not a problem. It's a pleasure, and let's hope we can get a club back. Okay, I'm in with the shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in with the second interview. You may notice the face, the face and the case. Man, Preet Singh. Man, Preet, how we doing? Good, right. Mate. Just having us on. So, you've got the current ongoings at the club. It's not the best at the moment. It's a official supporter. Feels like the club's getting taken away out of hands, doesn't it? What are your thoughts? I think the whole thing's a shambles. Is how there's a fan ownership board now that don't even get a say in board meetings, don't see the finances at all how they've just been cherry picked four, four or five people and there's the Jags Foundation of 850 members just getting bigger and bigger as a week I just don't understand it the whole thing it's just a shambles and Jags Foundation is the way forward I, f- I feel like the whole Colin Mills Wishes stuff has been a pure cover up for because it's not fan ownership like if, like fan ownership is the Jags Foundation like for us to have 850 and 900 members near, nearly for a club of our size is mental, like mm-hmm. genuinely mental when you think it. But the whole thing, like the PTFC Trust and the Three Black Cats, everything, Jackie Lowe, just all oh, it's just a shambles for the top. And I'm happy in a way that it's kind of united the whole fan base. It's all like, moving in the same direction and eventually sense will prevail, I think, and the Jags Foundation will take over the club, which is future. That's what I was just about to ask you. Um, We've obviously got 900 members, part of the Jags Foundation. Do you think it's just a, a waiting game? No, I do think it's just more of the time. Because we're seeing, we're seeing more and more, obviously you're prominent on Twitter, we're seeing more and more the likes of Graham Spears, getting people on podcasts, oh, etc. Like that, that, it shows it's not a wee thing now. Right, so we're here with another prominent face on Twitter, Kieran Ashton. The current situation at Partick Thistle at the moment, it's not very good. Uh, what are your thoughts? Aye, um, I've, I recently uh, signed up for Drags Foundation, I think it was about a week ago. Um, I, was, I was supporting a lot of it, but I never, um, never signed up for it. It's just the, the things that's come out in the past week or so, maybe even a month, you know, this, um, uh, the recent months, it's just not, it's not good at all. Um, it seems very, very shady. Um, I mean, the PTFC trust, but they're not, you know, they're not engaging with fans, and they're not, they're not speaking to fans, they're not, they're, 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 they're not blocking people on Twitter for asking them the questions that, that, that should be getting asked. Not um, very fan engaging, is it blocking people not, on Twitter? Not at all, not at all. So, we're going to move on to finer things yes. today. Partick Thistle, the Harry Rags, Aye. the Mary Hill Jags. Aye. We've got Morton. Bit of stick. On the pitch matters, you know what I mean? Aye, so that's a rivalry. Um, it's been a rivalry for a while, obviously, yes. we beat them to the league title. Yes. Today's going to be a good game, isn't it? Looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, um, with Morton, it's always, it's always a good, you know, feisty game. You know I mean? um, they've made it tough for us uh, uh, the last season, they beat us twice. <laughs> um, so, aye, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think we will. I think we'll win. I think we'll be about 1 or 2 0. Um, I think we'll be tough, but I think we'll get the three points today. Give us a score prediction then. 2 0. 2 0. Good man, Keenan and Jordan. For signing up, I've just been given one of these. Not too shabby. Hey, score prediction? Uh, either 2 0 Fissel or 1 each. Score prediction? 2 2. 2 2. Ben, score prediction? Score prediction? 3 1 Fissel. Score prediction? Martin, we're beating them. 3 0. 3 Score prediction. 4-1. Four, 4-1. One, one. You've already been on the vlog. If you know his face, you know the name. Score prediction. 6-4. Six. Six, <laughs> score prediction, go. 4-3. Ian. Ian. Score prediction. Score prediction. 4-0. Score prediction. 2 no. Oh. Gorgeous. Glasgow weather. Typical Glasgow weather. Beautiful. Grand does have a rest ahead. <laughs> so, we're going to go to the stadium now. Thistle getting on more to the game. Thistle currently sit top of the table. We're level with Air United. So today, a game, as any game is, top of the table is vital for three points. Morton currently sit in seventh place. Um, over the summer, there was a bit of a rivalry. Both fans were getting at it. Um, there was a lot of arguing over social media, just saying why both clubs hated each other. If you don't already know, in 2012-13, Morton were so many points ahead and Thistle managed to drag it back. We dramatically beat them to the league title. So this game has always been a rivalry since then. 
but today it's going to be special. First time we've played them this season. Let's get to the stadium and see how the Harry Rags, the mighty Jags, do today. What's your score prediction? Quickly. Hey. Two ones. Two ones or so. I'm going to go. I never do a score prediction, but I'm going to do one today. I'm going to go 2 0 for so. Let's go. Hey, let's go and get a ticket. Three, three pound. Put some numbers in. Try to get in the day. Hopefully, get lifted over the turnstile then. <laughs> Right. Got my granddad a wee scarf. He's been needing one for a wee while. Let's get up the hill. How good is this mural, by the way? Oh, it's so good to be back. Let's go. Let me tell you a wee trick or two. So, if you're ever late for the game, you can always see into for how many a goal seen here running late for a game. Cool, isn't it? You may have online ticket sales, but I've always got the ticket buff at Far Hill. Nice and traditional. Mm. There's the teams out. Minutes into the game, Brian Graham nearly got it. Oh! Two in the space of two minutes. Right, we've got the second member of the family here. Another Jags fan. Uncle Craig. Hello there. What's the score going to be? Uh, I'll say 3-1 to us. 3-1. 3-1 to the Jags. Goody. What's the score going to be? 3-1. Yeah. Good man. He knows his stuff. There's a Martin visit spot for today in the old main stand. That's all in these two stands, obviously. What a lovely day as in Faho. What was a lovely day in Faho? <laughs> oh my goodness, Robbie Muirhead just got an absolute screamer. Wow. Wow, Robbie Muirhead for about 30 yards. I don't know if the keeper should have been getting that or not, but ran off the post, 1-0 Morton. Fights between the fans and the hospitality. Deserve that. That's a one, Martin one. Grill! Martin fans know his fatality getting it stuck. Come on! Two goals! 
That's more like it, that's all. There's a singing section going off. I'm going the other day for the atmosphere, but I'll be in there soon to show you the real atmosphere at Thistle. Can you say playing this? Oh! Oh! beating them early. Nearly three there. Come on, Thistle! Right, so it's half time here. Uh, Thistle didn't start the best. Martin probably deserved in the league. What a goal it was from Robin Muirhead. Wow. Um, no words for that, to be honest. But yeah, Thistle actually came back. Uh, we've got ourselves 2 1 into the lead. And I have got my pie and my drink here. So I'm going to review this pie. Get the Jacks for a dish in the background and get used for the second half. Come on, the Jags. It is. Big Kingsley. <laughs> <laughs> the best mascot in the world. Oh my goodness. Oh, thought I was in there. Game over. Penalty. Yeah. Do not mark him. Penalty for Thistle to make it four. Come on. Oh. No way. Oh. Great football for Thistle here. Remarkable stuff. What a difference. <laughs> And an amazing for Brian Graham, what a player he's been for us. We've got Brian Graham indeed. He'll be promised to do this is for my club. Oh my goodness! Scott Tiffany! Wow! That man has got human. Wow! Oh, you're the Martin fans in the hospitality. Don't you hear them singing anymore? Oh, What a goal. Oh! Oh! Yeah! It's five! It's five! One! What a day to pick the vlog, eh? Come on, mate. Well, Patrick, first of all, I've seen. That's what I'm just toying with Martin now. Full time. What a performance from Thistle. I'll see you back at the house for a full reaction. And we are back. Partick Thistle. Finally done. Ticked off the list. And what a way to do it. What a game. Um, I don't think anybody expected that, to be honest. Martin, obviously, is a close rival of Thistles. We thought it was going to be a close game. Went 1-0 down, and then we thought, here we go again, do it the Thistle way. But, wow, what a performance. Every single player on that part today, outstanding. So, let's get into the full match review. Five factors, and we're going to be reviewing the Partick Thistle match day experience. Been waiting a long time to say this. Let's go. To start off with, we have football, the most important part of the game, 
obviously. And yes, two words, McCall Ball. For price, I paid £15 to get into the game today. For second division, Scottish football, could probably be looking a wee bit lower. But it is top end of second division, looking to get into the Premiership, hopefully. Uh, yeah, it's what you expect, 7.5 out of 10, I'm going to give for price. For atmosphere, today was a bit of a different one. I always tend to put myself in where the atmosphere is. I try and capture the best atmosphere and give the club the best possible advert I can give them. But today was different. I was showing you my match to experience with my wee granda. Take him to the games. And that's what I do when I'm not doing a vlog for you guys. So I think you can understand now why. It's sentimental to me. Um, and it won't stop. So yeah, it was more mainly families and pensioners. I will be back and I will be in the North Stand to show you the real part of this atmosphere. But all in all, good day, good atmosphere. Gonna give it a 7 out of 10. For food, I'm a good pie connoisseur, so I'll tell you a good pie, and today was quite good. Uh, very soft, melt in the mouth, good base on it. Yeah, 8 out of 10 for food. For facilities, <coughs> I think we can all agree Partick Thistle's for Hill Stadium is on its last legs. A lot of away fans slaughter it for the main stand, it's over 100 years old, and to be honest, I don't blame you. Money's obviously a bit of a problem in Scottish football at the moment, but for Hill, it is a great wee ground, nonetheless. Um, it's a uniqueness that you don't find in many stadiums. Down south, Scottish football still has quite a few, and For Hill definitely is one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, and especially Jags fans, thank you very much for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've tried to go into detail and show people what quite a few people may not know. So, I hope I have educated you on the matter. And if you've not already, please, please vote for me. It would be a massive help. I need every single vote I can get. We're only a week away from the final voting. The final way to the UK. You've already got me there. But we can go one step further. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you in the next one next week. It's another Scottish Championship game. But this one is going to be a cracker. Somewhere I've wanted to go for a while. Until then, it's a goodbye from me.